Dust cover, yeah. Okay, he's got a little hammock. <laughs> All right, I think that's no more on the bases in here. Holy fuck. <laughs>
excuse my messy workbench. We're out here looking for an Allen head that'll fit these damn screw plates because they didn't include one in the box, which for as much as this cost would have been nice. Hey, first of all, I really like how the base isn't artificially bulging out on the sides here. It's nice and flat. That's actually going to allow me to slide this in under my mat and keep this tucked up nice and close here. You can change the angle on this before you tighten it, which is nice. You can come in, sit down, and find the perfect angle. what feels good and then tighten down on it there we go this wrist height is adjustable so you can easily reach all your buttons which is good because I got short thumbs apparently holy crap that feels good it's higher it's it's higher i think I, th I think my hand sat here before uh matter of fact let's get that t16000 still got that thing yeah here let's do a direct side by side comparison let's get my graphing calculator out of here look at that height difference this is what i was working with before so yeah i was right about here now i'm I'm up a little bit higher but look at those button options and this is what I was talking about on the base you see how this one tapers off very suddenly and then gets flat and nice and flush whereas this one is very bulbous all the way out to the edge so I had to have it further away from me this one I can actually tuck in closer pretty excited about that to be honest with you this has a great feel to it I don't think I'm going to change it came with cams and springs I don't think I'm going to change a thing I think I'm going to use it just like this for a while and then maybe after getting used to this I'll swap them out and give some of those heavier, lighter springs a try. Yeah, so this thing is uh, absolutely incredible. Um, the amount of buttons and bindings and options that come with this. Uh, we've got a scroll wheel here that I plan on using for, I'm thinking elevator trim. And it actually clicks in like so. And then there's a double click. There's a second button there as well. So that's one and then two. Um, this is only a single stage click button in, but it's also a, uh, I think a four way hat. It might be eight way, I'm not quite sure, but I know it goes up, down, left, and right. It's got like basically an Xbox controller here with another push button in. This is just a single toggle push button there, push button here. Another four-way hat up top with a push button in. Uh, what's interesting is this trigger. This trigger is like, uh, this is a dual stage trigger and this is a dual stage trigger. So you've got trigger one and then two. One, two. And then this one, you can come in here and you've got one, two, and then there's a neutral mode, so like you can put the guns into like different. Uh, you can put the gun into a different stage, so you can like when the trigger's out like that, you can make your trigger out like that. Plus this means something different than this, which I found very very interesting. And I'm kind of toying with that to, to see if there's ways to get large caliber and small calibers mixed up in interesting ways. Um, like I saw one way that I could bind it and War Thunder was like I can do it to where when I have the trigger depressed like this and I do a half press it does small caliber only then when I do a full press it does large caliber so I can do this and it'll alternate back and forth between my small and large caliber while continuously firing which will really extends your you know amount of uh, ammunition you, you can fire uh, as well as reducing jams on the side here, another little four-way hat with a nice little sideways notching so you can uh, grab it down here with your thumb and uh, bring it in towards you, kick it out away from you, flick it up, flick it down, and then push it down in as well, another button. Uh, down here we've got a little hidden pinky switch. 
thinking about using that just for the scoreboard. Honestly, just click down there and click on the scoreboard. Analog brake lever. This is a variable axis. Like, I mean, you could use this as throttle if you wanted to. I'm not quite sure I'm going to use it for. Uh, we'll have to see on that one because I have brakes on my. It's meant for brake, but I have my brakes on my pedals. Uh, going around here to the opposite side, we've got a. Uh, A little index finger switch that you can bring in down or click up. Uh, I don't think clicking it forward or backwards it, it rocks in that direction but I don't think it registers as a button in that direction but it is also a push button in. So lots of different buttons, lots of different bindings, lots of different possibilities. I'm thinking about going with you know my, my trim here, aileron and elevator, like maybe rudder trim there uh, maybe some uh, weapon stuff here, maybe the zoom, uh, just toggle zoom here, maybe like a push to talk switch like that. Um, I don't know what I'm going to, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. I could do the button as something, maybe like acrobatic smoke or something, but I have no idea what to do with that. But you know what, first world problems. Uh, th this is a two stage thing, so I, I've got like a one click in and then another click. It's pretty purposeful. I don't know what I'll do with that, but that could be, um, that's almost like another two-stage type trigger, like, you, you could almost do, like, the first stage is, like, regular just fire a rocket and, like, you know, halfway click it and fire a rocket, or if you hard click it and hold, you can fire a rocket salvo or something to that effect. That's kind of what I'm thinking about doing with this, with this uh, switch here is, like, you know, uh, click up to fire a rocket, uh, you know, click down to fire a bomb, uh, click one way to, click left to, like, open the bomb bay doors, and maybe click right to, like, fire a rocket salvo, and maybe click it in to drop a bomb series, something to that effect. Uh, but there's so many possibilities, and I found out that actually uh, moving the stage of this trigger and then binding the buttons in separate ways, uh, I think you can get more combinations out of it in that manner. There's a lot to this. But uh, so far, I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, you can also change the colors on it. This is the, uh, let me cut this light off real quick, and you can see the color a little bit better. I picked basically the darker red kind of matches the keyboard. Uh, a little bit easier on the eyes, I figured, uh, you know, playing in a dim. Uh, but you can do all kinds of different colors, and uh, that's about it. Anyway, thanks for watching.